hi guys in this lecture I'm gonna teach you HTML list and there are many types of list I'm gonna teach you each and everything about list and then the HTML frame how to insert a frame in a HTML page and then block level elements and inline elements so first of all start with the HTML list there are three types of HTML list first is unordered list second is order order list and the third one is the description list so let's start with the first unordered list so for the unordered list we have to write the tag ul ul define the unordered list and here is its closing tag and now in between this we are able to put the list items for this we have to write the tag opening and closing tag li define the list item and here we are able to put the t and all the things that we want here is the coffee and here is the milk and here is the cell and let's check it here you see that this is the unordered list it have not any numbering or anything on its left side so it is unordered and you can also remove these bullets with the CSS but here I'm not gonna discuss the CSS and the second type of the list is ordered list so how to make the ordered list if we change a little thing in the unordered list so we can make the ordered list what we need to do just change this ul to ol ol define the order list so now let's check it how it look like so here you see that this unordered list is become the order list and it have the numbering so uh, the order list also have the list item you can put the list items as many as you want and here you can also change these numbers to the Roman numbers and the uh, uh, alphabet English alphabets and now here I'm gonna put here the type attribute and if we put the uppercase I so the numbering is changed into the uppercase Roman here is the uppercase Roman and if we write only lowercase I so there is a lowercase roman and if we change it to the uppercase or uppercase a then it shows the uppercase alphabets and if low then it shows the lowercase alphabets and if we want to print the numbers then simply write the one then it prints the one two three four so now this is the order and on order list uh, so now I'm gonna describe the description list so what is the description list the description list contain two things first thing is the term description list contain a term and it also contain the description of that term so here I'm gonna create the description list dl tag and its closing tag here is its closing tag and now in between these tags here first of all what we need to do we need to write the dt dt defines the description term and this dl define the description list so here we need to write the closing tag and here in between this I'm gonna write T T is the description term and after this we need to write the description here is the closing tag and now here we are able to write the description of the T here I'm gonna write uh, I will I will drink it so now here you see that this is the term and here is 
the description and using this strategy you can create the description list and description terms as many as you want here I'm gonna uh, create some others here here and so now save it here what you need to do just uh, here add the space here let's save it and here you see that it is added uh, so now here I'm gonna show you another thing that is HTML frame how to add the frame in a HTML page so first of all what is the frame the what is the HTML frame uh, the HTML frame is used to add another website in our web page so let's start here here I'm gonna add another website in our page uh, so first of all what we need to write iframe it is the opening tag and then the closing tag here is the iframe and here we need to write the source and here I'm gonna add any other website like CNN or w3schools.com here I'm gonna copy this link and paste it here and now let's refresh this is the w3schools.com and now refresh this page and here you see that w3schools.com is added into this frame and here is the menu and all the things so you can also add the width and height here I'm gonna add the width and height here is the width I'm gonna add the 500 and here is the height is 200 so now let's check it and here it is added so now you can add any website in your web page so now I'm gonna teach you the block level elements so what is the block level elements block level elements are those elements which is started with the new line and end at the new line we can also say that every block level element have the new line at the start and at the end so here I'm gonna add uh, I'm gonna write a block level element heading is a block level element and here I'm gonna write head and here is the h1 and now I'm gonna copy this uh, and paste it at the start so you can see the new line clearly and here you see that before the head there is a new line and after the head there is also a new line so the block level elements are just like a block it covers the new line before and after it so now uh, there is another block level element that is the div so first of all what is the div here is this is the w3schools.com so almost every website uh, is built into the div so what is the div the div is used to manage the content in the website here this is the div this is the div and all these things are managed using the div and here I'm gonna show you the page source and here you will see the divs here here you can see this is a div this is a div this is a div and all of the block of the uh, content is the is placed inside the div so there is another definition of the div the div uh, is a container for other HTML elements or we can also say that it is used to manage the content of the website it is used to give the style to the block of the content so now here how to write the div here is the starting tag and here is the closing tag and in between this we can uh, place any HTML element or any text and here is the div but here I'm not gonna into I'm not going into the detail because we need 
to apply the CSS to explain the diff so I will explain the div in the next section and now here I'm gonna explain the inline elements here I'm gonna explain the inline element so what is the inline element when we create any inline element so uh, there is no new line is created before and after it and the inline element is used to can, uh, place the small text in the web pages here I'm gonna create an inline element that is pen and it is just used for placing the small text and uh, and we, we are able to give the style to this small text and there is no new line before and after it here you can see that so this is all so I hope you understand my lecture if you have any problems so kindly contact me I will help you as much as I can in my next lecture I'm gonna discuss how to create a form how to create an input field how to create the radio buttons and all the form that you can see on the Facebook so I will meet you in the next lecture